the elements of architecture vary throughout the vehicle. You have obviously the powertrain, which is a major element of the, the architecture. You have the suspension system. Uh, you have even the HVAC system. Uh, one of the more uh, intricate elements that we have right now is the uh, electrical architecture. And so as we look to take on some of these new advanced systems like night vision, the large displays, the cluster, the heads up display, um, some of the autonomy features, the advanced safety and technology, the old system wouldn't be able to do that. What we have going on in the new Grand Cherokee is the new Atlantis architecture. That Atlantis architecture is built up based on three PDCs. The current Grand Cherokee only has one. Those are power distribution units that are placed strategically throughout the vehicle, one in the engine box, one in the mid compartment, and one in the rear of the vehicle. And what that does is basically act as a meshed network that allows the system to operate extremely fast and have seamless communication so we can take advantage of some of these systems such as the Uconnect Bible. Our drowsy driver alert system basically spends the first period of time when the operator is driving the vehicle learning what you're doing. Um, it's, it's basically learning w what your driving patterns are. If it sees gross deviations from those uh, patterns, it basically then goes to an alert mode. And that alert mode then displays a coffee cup and says, hey, you have the potential of being distracted, and then it self assists you in correcting. Night vision, of, of, of another very interesting system. Um, that system really consists of an ECU, an electronic control unit, and a camera placed at the front of the vehicle. And that camera uh, basically goes out and takes uh, imagery and basically translates it into heat signatures. If the vehicle senses that that uh, obstacle or person or animal is in front of the car, it will f identify them as red and put a red box around them. If that person is in proximity to become a potential threat to your path, it will basically put a yellow box around you. Passenger comfort. Well, first and foremost, we think about spaciousness. So we brought in the third row. And upon third row, we wanted to create the best third row experience. First thing is, how do you get in the car? Ingress and egress. The tip and slide seat affords us the opportunity to leave the child seat in. In addition, we allow the second row seat to be slidable, so we can move forward and aft and provide maximum space so a person can get into the car. And comfort isn't always a physical attribute. Sometimes it's an emotional attribute. And so you just want to see what's going on. So we have our rear view camera, which will allow you to look in the, in the back of the vehicle and monitor your children, monitor your other occupants, and stay engaged through the whole experience. Um, when you look at the second row also, when you contrast that to a WK, there is actually uh, an extra two inches of foot room, in addition to that seat being adjustable. So a lot of attention was paid from the second row back to make sure it's the most awesome experience a person would have.